here we are in J Star Marine Services workshop. Now it's empty of a big boat they've had in here for the last five years. Now I've got clear bench spaces around the workshop. Uh, we've got a dinghy here which has been restored back to its former glory. It's got had a few holes and dinks in it, but uh, they're all sorted out now. Uh, it's first coat of high build primer on it, ready for the coats of paint to make it shine again. Moving around, we've got another workbench here, all set up for woodwork. We've got a bandsaw, and we move around. We've got a, a lathe for doing turning work on, which we'll do in May Star Two as we rebuild her got a renovation job for an enterprise uh, paint job revarnished decks a bit of general TLC get ready for next season so my son can go racing in it moving round we have the Maystar dinghy in for a bit of TLC coat of paint a bit of varnish they're ready to go back to chance when it's ready to be put back on her deck so that's the workshop. On the shelves are bits and pieces for Chance, Maystar 2 and the Enterprise. Now we're outside, here's Maystar 2, all chopped up nicely. Ready for the work to start on a, over the next few days. When my two volunteers come back tomorrow to actually start on doing some major work on her. As you can see, there's some really major work down there. Not looking forward to that, but it's the thing we've got to do. We've got the transom to put a new one in. And as we walk around here, we go down the side of Maystar 2. Here we are. The shed's got all of Maystar 2's woodwork on the top, which will need to be sorted out and what will be required will be kept. What isn't needed or is worse for wear, replaced with new bits and some patterning to be done along the way. As we move down the shed, We've got a pile of plywood there, or bits of shapes, different bits and shapes of plywood, which will be used probably in rebuilding inside in parts. But we're going to try and put as much tongue and groove panelling in her as possible, as that was probably very much the way she was built originally back in 1939. Moving down again, see so chocks under the boat in a good position, stop the boat from twisting and also a further one here towards the stern of the boat to hold the boat from twisting completely anyway that's there and now that is back to the other pile of Charles's floorboards <laughs> 